my outfit for the day and the first outfit I tried on is this matching set it's a jacket and a skirt from spring summer 2020 this is a piece that I really was excited to try and uh, included in my wish list video as well and I was super excited to be able to finally try it on but unfortunately the skirt was not the right size and it wasn't appropriately fitting. This is another spring summer piece that my SA actually ordered for me. He thought I would be interested in trying it out so here I am giving it a try. This really cute retro number caught my attention while I was there, so I am trying it on as well. They also had a lot of jewelry, costume jewelry, belts, a lot of other clothes and winter accessories as well, so I got to check that all out. <laughs> no, this is not any deja vu. I actually went back to the boutique a couple of days later to try on some of those pieces again with pants on. I was wearing a dress so I didn't really have appropriate bottoms at the time. This time I went with my boyfriend so he was able to film a lot for me.
Menza. Ah, it's one eleven, so it's not a plus size. It does fit actually. They have made the new one so it's much more, like wider. And you can mm. like really stretch it out this way. There's a zipper in the back. And all the card slots at the top. It's a nice um plus board design and shape. There's still a zipper pocket. Hi, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to pop in here to finish off the vlog. I realize it's quite difficult to end your vlog while you're out. Um, but I wanted to share my trip to Neiman Marcus. For those of you who don't know, the Neiman Marcus Hudson Yards is actually closing down in New York City. It opened, I want to say like 18 months ago. And with everything going on, I guess they decided they were going to move out of that space. The Chanel boutique and the Louis Vuitton boutique that I frequent are actually both part of the Neiman Marcus. They're both leased departments, so they are pretty stocked right now. But as you could see in the footage, the Neiman Marcus itself was pretty desolate. They pulled out all of the full price merchandise, I guess, for them to sell in other stores. And so it was pretty, it was pretty shockingly empty, though. I was still able to find some sale merchandise on the floor above. That's where they have the women's wear, men's wear, and uh, men's shoes and things like that. So uh, the sixth floor is where all the sale merchandise really is. The fifth floor has some shoes left, but not really. And then the Chanel and the Vuitton. Uh, the Neiman Marcus will be open for another month or so. I think the last day is like September 12. Uh, at least that's the last day the Chanel and Louis Vuitton boutiques are planning to be open, but everything is subject to change. And I just thought it would be interesting to stop by and also share what it looks like right now. Uh, it's really sad, actually, that the Neiman Marcus is going away. I really liked that location. I liked the whole concept of the shops at Hudson Yards, but anyway, uh, it's not about what I like, right? <laughs> but the Chanel boutique was really well stocked. They pretty much had about three collections come through. So they have the spring summer still there. They had the Metier de A, and then they also have the pre-fall collection come through. So all of that's there. They also uh, expect to be shipping some of the merchandise to other boutiques as well. So if you have shopped from there before I definitely stop by sooner rather than later they do have a good selection of pieces I will be sharing a haul of some of the pieces that I did pick up in a separate video um, but I think it would be really fun if you guys can guess what pieces you think I purchased in the comments down below I just uh, it's just to just for a little bit of fun yeah um, let me know what you think I picked up and then in the next video it'll be the haul video so I will share the pieces that I did pick up from my recent trips. Other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to say to close off this vlog. If you have any questions on any of the items or really anything at all, feel free to leave those down below or head on over to Instagram. I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday. There is a giveaway that is still open on my channel. I will leave that video above and also leave it in the description box so you can check it out if you're interested. So until next time, bye!